This is Hacker Replay episode 100. You may notice that I am not wearing the sexy cop outfit. Uh, you guys actually did pretty good with the like challenge. Let me pull it up. But you did not reach 10k. Which I'm kind of happy about because that cop outfit is very itchy. You guys had 6,500. So you're only 3,500 off. But I do want to point out for the people who are upset that we didn't reach the like goal. The video got 84,000 views. You guys could have liked it enough times, but only like less than 10% of you liked it. So that's on you guys. That's not on me. That also reminds me of a deal I made with the community. If we reach 10,000 subs on Twitch, I'll do the Yana Elite skin as a cosplay on stream and in a video. So if you guys all subbed while watching this video, I'd have no choice but to dress up in what is essentially a maid outfit. So go sub to my Twitch channel now if you want to see that. We are going to go back to doing six matches for this video just because it's episode 100. And before we get into it, I did some quick math, which will be roughly in the in the ballpark of how many cheaters we've exposed. We have exposed about 572 cheaters in the 100 episodes. That's going to be including this one. Or like, I guess, those were the matches we've reviewed. I guess that's not a 572 cheaters. So I actually don't know how many cheaters we have exposed then. We'll just assume that we've exposed over 500 cheaters, because most of the time there's less than two innocent people per video so there are also games with more than one cheaters true true there were some games with like six cheaters each so you know what we'll just say 572 good job everyone good job i uh, could not have done this without you guys thank you to everyone who has been submitting matches for the past 100 episodes i think the very first episode was well obviously like two years ago was exposing hackers with match replay this was before i turned it into a full series that video came out two years ago on april 21st also look at my disgusting hair back then wait it actually doesn't look that different from now look at my beautiful hair back then <laughs> first match of episode 100 before we start the match i want to apologize if you notice any general choppiness with the matches i had reset my pc the night before this video so when i recorded this some of my settings were messed up which caused a lot of frame drops so, sorry about that. I figured, what better way to start Hacker Replay than with some crazy cheats? In this match, what are we looking at? What the hell? Okay. In this match, we have El Yayo, who's accusing, I got topfrag.io, and I dropped KD15910. And you know, what better way to start off episode 100, then with some spin bots. I guess it's not a spin bot, but close enough. I'm not mistaken, Ash is also some something like that. I don't know what the hell she's doing, but I'm gonna guess she's also cheating. I believe Fink is just going to shoot people through the floor. Or not, just walk in. Yep, everyone's dead. So, iconic siege moment. Basically, I, I think that's just like a new version of Spinbot where they don't actually spin, they just slide, but that has been around in the game forever. We found the the cheater. He has a 4.44 KD in ranked with a 90% win. How do you only have 90% win rate? He's lost three matches and abandoned one. Um, not not banned, by the way. I, I don't know how this gets past stat banning, but somehow it does. Now we'll watch the next round to see if the Ash starts going crazy. Hmm. Interesting. Don't really know, uh... Oh, they just killed themselves. That, you know, makes me assume that they are together. Uh, but I just want to get actual proof that I drop KD is also cheating. This is in uh, a champ lobby, by the way. Uh, the buck has a champ background. With stat banning, they said that they... So they had some issues where they accidentally banned some people like... The content creator Rai, uh, when she didn't cheat, 
And then... Nice. Okay. Oh, we'll just move to the next round. Uh, they accidentally did some, like, false bans, and then they disabled it. But then I think they said that they re-enabled it with just, you know, stricter guidelines. But I still feel like a 4.4 KD overall is high enough that it should trigger it. This guy's... This guy must have, like, the budget sheets, because he is constantly just, like, rubber banding on the spot. Okay. So this is what he keeps doing. He just keeps running on the spot. Do the running man. Do the running man. Oh. Okay, he started cheating. Oh, and then... Chanka is going full spin bot. Okay, he's moving weirdly, which I think means that he's for sure cheating. It seems like he's like moving faster than he should be. Okay. He oh. He just killed people with his uh, Azami knives while shooting. That's weird. Hmm. He was tracking the Yana here, but then just didn't kill them. He hit the wall. So I guess he's shooting the. What are they called? Kunais? Kunais? Out of his gun? Interesting. Uh, but stern mode name, we don't have his real name, so. Isn't her knife the kunai? Uh, I don't think when she knifes someone that it shows the kunai icon. I think it shows, like, an actual knife icon. So, I don't think that's just from her, like, having a knife hitbox. But I could be wrong. Okay. Well, first match, done. That's two cheaters. Oh, and chat's confirming it does show the kunai. Okay, so yeah, she must have just a knife hitbox then. Um, moving on to the second match, it is this one? Order? Uh, I didn't want, you know, every match to be super, super obvious, so I tried to find some other ones. Uh, this one we have I give up 281 who's accusing zblurry.xvl, and they said, I can't tell if they're just a champ or if they're cheating. So keep in mind, this should be a champ overall level lobby. Um, and it shouldn't be out of the ordinary that Blurry is there if they are champs. I did see that they had a champ background, so they were at least champ last season. Okay, so let's watch Yana. They said that they just played weird was their reasoning. They did see Doc go over there. So pinging, being like careful of this is not crazy. Because yeah, they had the drone on the upper balcony. Although they just aimed at Doc right there. But it was just a, a little overlap. Could be coincidence. Why are they moving like this? They did line up with Fenrir there as well. They just keeps happening, then I'd be a little bit more suspicious. And they're about to go push the Valkyrie. Oh, just kidding, they walked by the Valkyrie. They didn't notice that she's down there. What are they doing? I'm I'm already leaning on the side of they're definitely not a champ because it does this is not how a champ normally plays but I mean I'm a champ and I don't play well either so chat first impressions round one is this a champ I don't think so. 
Wait, did they team kill? Oh no. I just didn't see the bottom person I kill. No way, this is champ. I don't think so either. It is ranked as well, like it's not like they're just messing around in unranked or quick match. Oh, did they fix the Yana bug? And now no longer does the like ear rapey thing. Maybe the entire lobby isn't champ. Just he, one sec. Did he just line him up through? Try to shoot him through the wall there. A little weird. You'd be able to hear the vault over. Only a five round match. Yeah, they're not really checking much. They didn't clear fountain. They didn't clear uh, office. They didn't clear like break room or anything, but the teammate could have cleared that. I don't know. Trying to code a GPU or CPU. It should be on GPU, but. Uh, like I said at the beginning, since I reset my PC, all my settings are gone now, so I have to kind of like work through it and see what is broken and what's not. Classic Warden spawn peak. I don't know how people are so good at knowing where the camera is through there. I always have to like manually break it and check. That wasn't even a pre-fire. He was staring at the window for like at least half a second and then shot the floor for no reason. He expects Valkyrie in there this time. It's not out of the ordinary since she wasn't there last time. Now if he expects this other person down here. A little bit more suspicious. Why does he keep doing this? He just prones and workshop and drones. Like if someone drops that hatch, he's dead. And then he quick checked whoever that is. I think that was Warden. He knows they're down there. But like, so he didn't check any of the room, he only checked the door. It makes me feel like he just knows, but. Okay. So, this is more of my personal take on why that, the reason why I think that right there is suspicious enough to say that they're probably a cheater is they pulled out the grenade with the intention of doing a through the floor grenade kill and then the Azami moved and she immediately like panicked and let go of the grenade instead of cooking it and instead of like you would be able to hear the Azami run across like through the floor that's not crazy but instead of you know cooking the nade and like still throwing it anyways they let go of it immediately hop on camera to see where they went if you are a normal good player, you're not going to just throw the grenade. Sorry, how does he know that the smoke is there? Um, or he was just trying to deploy a drone instead of grenade. True, you know, I think one of the best strategies in Siege is when you're in here in this tiny room below site, your best option is to throw a drone into this corner instead of trying to grenade someone through the floor that you just pinged. That makes complete sense, Jakey H. Thank you for your copper input. Let me uh, quickly see what the drone saw before. Let's see, or I guess if he is cheating 100% or not. So no, he has no reason to know that someone's at um, Sandwich. He is completely just randomly nading there. I guess he could be like, oh, maybe the Azami moved there. But he even did like a flick nade. So like he aims low and then just flicks up, throws it, and then runs away. That just seems really weird.
I get why they sent this in. This guy is a very odd player. Hmm. So, you could argue innocence here by being like, well, they ran past the Azami and just reacted, but it wouldn't surprise me if a cheater does that on purpose to, like, get them to shoot and then turn back around. Shoots there and then shoots exactly where they are and just keeps shooting the same spot instead of doing, like, a spray across, which I feel like would be a little bit more normal, or you, like, start to move across to try to get them as they're running. So it just holds exactly where they are and kills them there. Grabs the fuser. Goes in. What's he checking here? What is the intention here other than to see where both of them are using their walls? Right? I feel like that has to be it. Like, what else are you looking at? Dies anyways. I would feel fairly confident right now saying that they're cheating. But we'll watch through a bit more. This is the first time that I've seen them drone and not, uh, or like drone more than just exactly where the enemy is. Normally he drones only where the enemy is and nowhere else. He did shoot at the person standing at the door, but hit the wall. I gotta check. Maybe this was unranked. This does not feel like ranked. But how... If there's champ... If this is a champ ranked lobby, this is very weird. He's only hitting the floor above wherever the castle is. Or at least the entire time. Because he was like heading right towards castle and just stared at him. He has to have walls. Now he's just opening up other stuff. What is that aim? He can't even hit a fucking mute jammer. Can't hit a mute jammer, but he knows where people are and hits their head. Guess he just knew someone was standing out right next to the bomb. He must be cheating. Where is Doc looking? They're just doing fucking ring around the rosy. So instead of holding an angle on the door, he held an angle through the wall, tracking the mute. That makes sense. Like, what if the mute's right here, standing right here and shoots him, right? Instead, he just basically tracks where the mute is the entire time. He, he, I think he has to be cheating. I don't think there's any other option. Oh, yeah, okay. He's already been cheated. Or banned. Banned for cheating. He got banned today. Just now, actually. Uh, he... Was champ last season with like 1.78 and before that 1.54 and then this season was an emerald with a 2.52. They are cheating. They've been caught. Alright, that did not, again, that did not seem like a champ level lobby. That, that was Brazil, so maybe Brazilian servers are easier, I don't know. But that seemed like a much easier lobby than I would have expected for champ. Um, okay, next match is, oh, this one. It was the wrong date because it was at midnight. Uh, in this match, we have fish, fish suction. 
That is 100% German. I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, and then they're accusing the barcode name, and we have their real name. Guys, I think he might be cheating. He's trying to bait out shots. He's so distracted by that one. He just tried to shoot him through the chimney. I always say I say chimney weird. Subption is a small soup, so this guy's name is Small Fish Soup. I'm gonna guess he is cheating, but we'll watch to get more hard evidence. We don't want soft evidence, we need hard evidence. No one likes soft, everyone likes hard. For some reason, he doesn't really care about the twitch on Rappel. Oh, she's dead. How is the hatch still not broken? There we go. The enemy team seems a lot more lost in this game. Yeah. He just straight up was tracking the Finca there to get ready to pre-fire as she peeked. So, definitely cheating. It might be either in the low rank lobby or this is unranked, I didn't check. Going to swing on this Capitan now that he knows hatch is clear. Also, I guess that's proof. You can't break open a wall that much with a bailiff from that far away. It, there's no way it would do this much. He did 10 shots and it opened up this much. And yeah, he's trying to knife to bait the shot so that you can be like, oh, I know where you are. Yeah, he's cheating. I don't know why, it's only happening intermittently, which is weird. He has, he's in Silver 5 with a 3 KD. Didn't really play before, has played like two casuals and lost them. Definitely a cheater. I'm surprised they're not banned yet, to be honest. Okay, that's match number three. Done. Okay, hopefully we shouldn't have any more stutters for you guys. I hope. No guarantees. In this match we have King Crofta. Who's accusing their own teammate, Jagerbo, and um, we have their real name. This is a six-round match. Uh, based on the round already being half over, I am tempted to say they might be cheating. I don't think they actually hit the camera there. And by how aggressive they're being, I am very tempted to say they are cheating. They're running right for the guy in the bathroom. Oh, no, just kidding. They, they're taking a detour for the guy upstairs. Honestly, a clean shot. Quite frankly, might just be a better player. It really upsets me when people report innocent people for no reason. Because uh, it just takes attention away from the people who deserve to be banned, you know? Because, like, honestly, this just seems like a skill difference. You guys can uh, tell me whether you agree or not. Clean ace. Honestly, next bolo. How did it go to round six? That makes sense. A lot of team kills. Except for men lover, not team killing, going for the free win.
Oh, he's actually boosting Men Lover, I think, because they're healing them. They're probably a duo. Well, that's that match. I have their real name, so like, let's see if they uh, are banned or not. Slayer Demon Twenty Seven. Oh, did they change their name? He changed it, and I have it. All right, give it to us. Apparently, they have changed now to Hiss Kitten, but that is not showing up on either of the sites. So, oh, there it showed up. Uh, they got banned. Makes sense. They were very blatant. I don't know how they changed their name three times. Oh, actually, no. One was stir mode, then normal name, and then change name. That makes sense. Match number five. We are moving into cafe. You always know it's going to be a good match when someone starts the match with a reverse friendly fire activated. Yeah. Uh, in this match, we have clone hyphen dot hyphen, who is accusing free four zero seven zero and soapy sucks eight one seven five. Uh, these are both stream mode names. We know both of their names. Um, the accusation is that the free guy is the one cheating and being more blamed about it, whereas Soapy sucks. The accusation is that they keep killing themselves and they assume it's to <coughs> feed information to the team via calls. Because when you cheat, you can actually see people through walls while watching a teammate. Uh, so then they just will be like, hey, on your left, hey, on your right, stuff like that. But this is the main accusation, free four zero seven zero. I guess they weren't killing themselves, but they uh, run out and die. And now he's just spectating his friend. Maybe they're just getting boosted, but they don't want to play, so they just run out, die, and then sit on their phone for three minutes. TikTok phase. It's already starting off choppy, but we'll see if it gets better. One sec. It says it stopped. Oh my god, this guy's name is Amogus Cum. What a name. I also just noticed that guy's name. What if... Conspiracy theory. What if... The Doc isn't actually cheating. It's just the Oryx is cheating, and he's watching his friends so that he can give callouts, but then they won't be able to catch Doc because they'll be like, oh, well, like, he doesn't have cheats on his PC. Hmm? Hmm? No, oh, he did also just line it up there, but we'll watch more rounds. Okay, he ran out again. Gonna watch his friend. Don't really understand why. Oh. No, okay, he is walling himself. I don't understand the point of having his friend die just so that he can spectate the other cheater. That seems pointless. Oh. So the guy who is Doc is soapy.6s uh, currently has a 1.28 KD in silver 1 previously a plot with a 1.2 KD and then the other guy has quite a different name uh, you might say hopefully the FBI doesn't come after me uh, so he was cheating for sure that makes sense because well, he had some 0.25 KD but his friend is also cheating. Unless he's just like... With this. Suck. Unless he's like, hey, okay, aim down sight. And he's like, yeah, right there, shoot. That's the only thing I can think of. But why would he do that? Why not just have cheats yourself? And we know they're together. Because 
Oh, I'm getting encoding overloading again. We know they're together because this guy's name is Soapy. His name is Soapy Sucks. But like, why why do it the way they're doing it? Seems like a strange setup to have your friend watch you, tell you what to do. So I assume he must also have walls of some level. Because like, if your friend is watching, is just like, hey, they're behind. Some, or like they're on your right a little bit, you're not going to have that perfect aim. That's just like he knows. Also, he would be able to shoot right here if he wanted to, but he's not. I don't think there's any way that the free guy is not also cheating. Just his friend was a lot more obvious with it. But that's it for that match. Okay, last match. Wait, so that means we had two cheaters in the first game, a third cheater in the second game, a fourth cheater in the third game, two more cheaters in that game. Uh, Jaeger boy was also a cheater. So, wait, every single match has had a cheater, and we're at seven cheaters today with five matches done. So now we're get to go in, we're going to go into a sixth match and probably get an eighth cheater. Unfortunately, we won't know. Whenever I tried to play this match, I was dropping frames like crazy. So I ended up having to not go through the match and review it. Also, while I was trying to fix it, I realized that someone in that match had a very racist name, so I don't want to show that on the screen. So unfortunately, there won't actually be a sixth match for this video. Looks like we won't be able to watch the sixth match, unfortunately, because it's just causing recording issues for me for some reason. That's annoying. I I don't know whether, based off of like what very little we got to see, I don't know whether that was a cheater or not. I'm going to guess no, but either way, that was still five matches of all cheaters and then one possible cheater that we didn't really get to spectate too much. Um, hopefully the video recording came out fine. All just to those in stream who've had to deal with all the stuttering. I'm hoping the recording is fine. I'm going to just probably end stream here and go through my OBS settings and just try to make it work. Don't worry guys, I fixed it so all future videos should be fine. Uh, but I think that'll be it for Hacker Replay. That's episode 100 in the bank. Honestly, if you had asked me like two years ago if I thought that I would be still making more Hacker Replays at this point, I probably would have said no because I probably would have assumed that people wouldn't care that much and stop watching it. But we're still here two years later and people still really want to watch it for some reason um so i'll continue doing it and obviously siege being siege hackers will be around forever so i don't think they're gonna go anywhere and we'll be able to uh record more videos on them i did have the other day i'll quickly add this in where the guy that we watched in a hacker replay saw me in a match and was like are you gonna make another video on me which does make me concerned a little that people, or cheaters at least know, or they obviously know of the series, but if I hope they don't do it in order to get submitted to it. I Like, who the fuck would care that much, right? But they know enough to call me out when I'm in the match, and whether I'll make a video on them or not. So, who knows. But as long as we keep getting them banned, that's all that matters.